Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. And this one is for my Libras. So if you're a Libra, sun, moon, or rising, something in this is for you. So far we have the Four of Cups in the Magician in Reverse, Chariot Reverse, King of Swords Reverse, Four of Wands Reverse, and the Three of Cups. I will clarify those and then we'll get into what it means. It looks like it's about to storm outside. I want it to go scooting once more. Two more, two more. So first you have the Four of Cups clarified by the Queen of Swords in reverse. So this is showing that a relationship you had with some type of maternal figure is not what it used to be. And it's happening in a pretty disappointing way. It might actually be your mom or just somebody who is older, wiser, more feminine than you. Magician in Reverse clarified by the Five of Wands. This is somebody that you do depend on in some type of way. So the stakes are a little bit higher. Like you feel like you just really need them to get it together. But what's happening is they're having some internal war going on. And you're kind of just getting caught in the crosshairs. Chariot clarified by the Hierophant. Uh, well, the chariots in reverse clarified by the Hierophant. This will kind of resolve itself if you can just keep your cool, to be honest. So I know what your title is. Let's just mind our own business for a minute. King of Swords in Reverse, clarified by the Ten of Cups in Reverse. Um, the stuff that they're going through just has to do with one of their other close relationships. So it'll resolve itself considering like how they're reacting towards you, but this might be a long-term problem for, for them. So where you can be of assistance to them, that'll definitely help. Four of Wands in Reverse, clarified by the Fool in Reverse. Yeah, I'm seeing that there's some divorces or just some major breakups that are going to be happening on their end. So they can't be for there for you right now how they usually are. And however you can be there for them, it'll make all the difference. Three of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Swords. Definitely don't throw their business out there, but if you can let other people know, like, hey, give them their flowers, they just would appreciate it. That'll help too. Recruit other people to cheer them up. Let's get you a word of the week. <clears throat> Oops. I just threw those cards on my feet. Well, your word of the week fell out and it is brighten. So that's just reiterating however you can brighten their day will be very, very helpful. We'll get something from your ancestors and then we'll skedaddle. Take a break. So this is talking about you just taking a break, relying on them. If it's something that you really, really do need them for, like you can't get it done without them, you're just going to have to park it for right now because they do not have the capacity. You'll make things significantly worse relying on them this week. But that's what I have for you guys today. If anything resonated, per usual, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. I do drop new videos every single week, so there's always going to be something for you. And if you want more information on your personal situation, you can book a reading with me through the link in the description box. All right, y'all. Peace.